here in this code sample we have the file m y underscore bt underscore states dot xml and here inside this xml file we uh, have the selector xml element with uh, items in this case we have two items now having a file an xml file um, within the folder color within res means that we actually create a new color resource and its name will be the name of this file so if we check the R class here we can find within a color not just those color resources we created in a separated XML file within um, values, we can also find that we have actually have a color resource its name is my BT states, which is actually the name of the XML file we saved within the color folder so this is actually another way for creating a color resource. Now over here uh, we actually have two items but we could have more. We have two items that specify um, two colors to each one of them applies for another state. So for example if the state is uh, pressed then we want this color to be um, applied and if it's not meaning the view this uh, all XML file applies to uh, is not pressed then we want a uh, color 3 to be uh, the color. Now if we check the XML file that defines the user interface we can find two buttons and the first button over here we specify that we want the text color to be not a specific color but we actually specify the color resource we created using an XML file saved within the, the, the color folder inside res. So we actually specify that we want uh, this uh, XML document, this settings to apply as the color of the text shown on the first button. So when we try to execute this code sample we actually get um, the text on the first button uh, orange when we don't press it and blue when we press it. And all that happens because we wanted uh, this uh, color resource to be the color of the text shown on that button.